Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin from Audio Digital, back with another video. In uh, the previous videos, I talked about how to do tempo-based looping. And in this video, I wanna talk about making an instrument that has drum accompaniment built into it as one entity so that you can just play some chords and there'll be drums playing in the background, kind of like a band in the box or uh, an auto arranger sort of idea. And that's pretty easy to do. And so let's get into how to do that real quick. We have this sound right here that has a bunch of arpeggios or three. So we have like three arpeggiators going on over here. And uh, that's how that's making all this sound. But now I just wanna add a uh, drum to it as well. Uh, so the easiest way to do that would be just to group this and then we could add like a sampler with a, a drum beat and, and tempo sync it and so forth. But that's not how I'm gonna do this because I like things to be kind of all in one. So I like to just use the phase four itself. That way it shows up as a phase four instrument. I can still use these macros that I already programmed here and I can come in and tweak it. Uh, so I just like that for housekeeping. It's not necessarily uh, better, but let's see how we would do that if we want to do it that way. So we can put it into the effects here. And right now I already have a, a delay in an effects layer. And I did that basically so that I could do um, a mix. I have a delay and a reverb and I want to mix them as one. Uh, so I put it into an effects layer, but that's not really not the point. If I want to add the drum, I can just click on this effects layer and group it. And that way I can now add the drum thing, which I'm going to use the, um, the poly grid to do the drums. So I'm gonna use a sampler and then polygrid. And I already made a, a utility for this that I call time stretch sampler. So we're gonna load that in. Let me solo this one here. And if I'm playing it, let's look at it. It's just playing this initial part. It's not playing the whole thing through. And the reason for that is, is because it's getting the information from the arpeggiators. So it's just gonna keep looping like that. So we need to get the MIDI information before it hits the arpeggiators. And how we do that is um, we can put a, a note receiver in before the, uh, the drum sampler. And then we're, we're gonna need to tap it before this step. But since this is the first thing in the, the note chain, I can't tap before it. So I'm just gonna add kind of a, a dummy little channel filter here that isn't gonna do anything, just so I can tap the MIDI information. So now I can go over here, go into my the patch itself, and go to this channel filter. And that way, now when I hit a key, it goes all the way through the sample. So let's load a different sample into the sampler. I'm gonna use this one. And just drop it in. Now with the sampler, uh, it if you had loop settings beforehand, they're going to be basically uh, turned off. So you need to turn back on looping. So I'm turning back on ping pong looping here and I'm also uh, dragging up the, uh, the fade here. Here we go. A little bit. Now let's see what that sounds like. And I could tweak that if I want to, but it's already gonna be working to play along with the um, other sound that we were looking at before. I'm gonna turn it down a bit because it's pretty loud in comparison to drums. Let's see what that sounds like. So that works pretty well. Um, one thing about the way it's set up right now, if I were to play different notes, it's going to start the loop back over each time, which could be fun. You can kind of... But 
But if you don't want that to happen and you want it to only re-trigger once you release all the keys and play again, you can just go into the polygrid here and turn, you want it on mono, you don't want to, to be polyphonic with a drum beat because then it'll just make a bunch of copies of that drum beat. And it'll sound kind of awful. So you want to go ahead and turn it on to um, mono and then turn it on never re-trigger. So that way, if I'm playing several different notes, It only starts over when I release. So that's it, that pretty much does it. You got a drum beat and then of course will change with tempo. And you can save this whole thing together as one complete package and have a whole little kind of band in the box thing going on for your instrument preset. So I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you want to know anything else on the sampler. Um, I think I'm, I think I might be done with the sampler for now. Uh, you know, there's a lot more you can do, but I might move on to some other things, but if you, have some specific things with the sampler you want me to cover. I can try to do that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye.